Next out is good as long as you decide to use only credentials provider and using JWT. But if you want to use credentials provider with a database strategy, you will realize that it is not possible. On the other hand, if you plan to add social logins such as GitHub, as we have here, you will see that using credentials provider and a social media provider is not possible. And I fixed it. Let's see it in action. In this tutorial, I will use PostgreSQL and there is a lawyer, but I believe you can easily integrate it into your preferences. Let's start with credentials provider. I will now create my account here. So let's actually use an example email for it. So I have logged in. If I take a look at my database, I should be able to see that I have created an, an account for this email. That is good. And let's sign in. And as you can see, I'm signing and all we see is a session ID. If you use next out default implementation, you will see a JWT token. If we take a look at session table, you will see that I have a session token that is linked to the current user, which is great. I can see my user's information here as well. So let's sign out and then session token is gone. And if I refresh this table, I will also see that the token information is the latest from the database as well. Let's say I decided to log in with GitHub right now and it's redirected to my app. I have just created this app for the sake of this video and I will log in right now and come back and I will click yes, authorize and I'm redirected to my app and you see that my session token ID is there and my user information is there as well. And if I take a look at my database and refresh this, I will see my user email as well. It's beautiful, especially when I consider that Next Out is a huge library when we compare to Lucia Out and we do a lot of manual setup in Lucia Out. I know Next Out does not give so much customizable behavior as Lucia Out gives. If you prefer that, that you have the all control on your hand, you can use Lucia out, but otherwise, since we solved this issue, I think I will use next out in my next projects, to be honest. That was the problem that I was switched to Lucia out. I don't think that next is that complex. Anyway, so let's see what I have done. First of all, let's take a look at my database schema because it's the easiest thing to show. I have a user table, an account table, and a session table. A session table just for storing the session IDs, nothing much session token user ID. It is a reference to user ID. And account table is for social logins. For example, GitHub, if I take a look at the account table here, you will see that I have record there that a GitHub login created. Yeah, a bunch of things. I actually copied these default tables from the next out website so let's take a look at actually let's go to there i will find database section here i am using the result ORM, so i will click on this one and if i scroll down a bit you see that they have a default schemas so i have just copied and pasted but here they also provide authenticators and verification i guess yeah verification tokens I think this one is for magic links and this one is for 2FA. So if you consider to add, add those into your apps, you can use them too. But yeah, I don't want to include these in this video. That's why I have just copied this three table, three schema and pasted it into there. And, and then I just pushed my changes into my database. The most important file is here that is TS. In our TS, we create a new next out instance. We destructure this object that we have initialized with the with our config, which I will be talking about in a bit. And we have handlers, sign in, sign out, and out functions, where we use these in our applications. For this video, I won't talk about these um, a lot because they are not uh, related to this fix. So let's take a look at out config and learn how we can use a credentials provider with a database strategy along with social media providers. This config object expect from us to give it an adapter and we are using the real adapter. We have just 
created this adapter here, you may wonder why we didn't do this, right? It's because we will use this adapter in a bit. You will see. That's why we have initialized our adapter on top of the file so that we can actually use this adapter inside other fields. Okay, adapter is done. Let's take a look at providers. For GitHub, it's straightforward. We are doing the same thing as before, just passing client ID and client secret, nothing much. When it comes to credentials, this part is for the UI. If for the UI, when we go to API out sign in, we see this and we can customize it by giving giving some fields into this object. And so it's not that important for us. The important part is that we need to have authorize function where we get email and password from this parameter. And we are just passing these into our server action where we try to look at if this email exists in our database and if it is existed, if this password is matched with the hash password in our database. If they are matching, we just return the existed user. You see, so if result is success, we just return the data as user. This doesn't make any difference when we think about the strategy. The main parts are callbacks and JWT fields. So let's take a look at JWT first. As the default credential strategy uses JWT, what we can do is when we try to log in with credentials, it triggers this JWT's encode function. What it does that it takes a params, you see, and if I log this param, if I try to log in with a credentials, what was it? Yes, this one and log in. And we will see that this params has a lot of data in it. You see, and we can see that it has a token object, which includes a credentials field, which is true in our case. That's how we know that user tries to log in with credentials. When it is true, what we do is we create a new session for the user. This is the thing that next out doesn't do by default. So we just create a session token. It comes from the UUID package. And this is the ID of user. And if it's not exist, we just throw an error. And if, if it exists, we are using the, our adapter here. So next out provides adapters as, as you may already know. So it, it, it's a class. If I take a look at here and a bunch of things, but let's see. Let's go into Postgres. There is an adapter and like they have tables and they have some functions. You see, one of them is a create session. And we are we are calling this function create session. And it takes a session token, a user ID, and expires. It matches with schema in here. Session token user ID expires. I think if you name these differently, you will need to give your tables explicitly into the adapter like this. You see, you can pass your session table, verification table, et cetera. But since we are using the default tables they give, we are good to go. This creates the session in our database. And then if session is not created, we throw an error. If not, we just return the session token. So this function, JWT, you see it, it, it encodes the params by default, but when the case is credentials, we don't return any JWT. We just return a session token. That's how we see the session ID here. So if I do like this and let's sign out and try to log in, you see that this value is set as cookie. How do we know that token has credentials? Because it's not there by default. This account object, we know that it's because next out provide this object and it has an account object, which gives us a provider as a string. When someone tries to log in via credentials, we know that. But here in params, in, in token, we don't have this piece of information. That's why if account is provider, we just make token credentials to true. And then we use this information in here to differentiate if it's a real JWT or is a credentials login. In that way, we don't do anything about the default behavior of JWT token. 
That's all. I will put this repository into my GitHub so you can just grab the code and start using it. It's beautiful. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more videos about Next Out or Lucia Out or any Next.js related videos, just write them in the comment section and I will record them. Anyway, this was Ur. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.